We both know that the other members of the Council won't stop Sonic. They lack vision and imagination, unlike you. You think I have vision and imagination? Perhaps. Or perhaps you're just a stupid fox. Alone. Useless. Pathetic. I'm pathetic? You're the ones with unlimited power, and all you can think to do is build a bigger robot. <laughs> Tell me how to defeat Sonic! So I need to think like Sonic? I knew you had vision and imagination. Hey, wait! I didn't... Yes, yes you did. This is frustrating! I can't find a single thing wrong with it! The Kraken? It can't be! We left it dead in the water! Enough! Let me show you how it's done, Sonny. You can't drive worth a darn. You go down to the engine room and fix the communication motherboard. All right. Now, first, we gotta shake these slouches loose. <laughs> the suckers fell for it. Time to hit the rendezvous point and get the heck out of here. <laughs> it worked. Without the power of that blue buffoon, we would have had to dig for months. Thank you for the earthquake, Sonic. And thank me for my plan, which went off spectacularly. And it worked, too. Of course it worked. I just said that. <sighs> Let's go. Papa wants his prism. At last, the Paradox Prism. So close. It was only a rumor for so long, and now, inches from my grasp. Countless times, I have tried to modernize this hunk of Earth only to be defied by that simpleton, Sonic. Now it's finally going to happen. And it's all the sweeter because the blue baboon handed me this prize. Without realizing it. So thank you, Sonic. For now, I stand at the summit of, of the mountain. Of a new age. The age of... Pretty lights? The age of the Eggman Empire! Ooh, magic! And now! Ah! Why didn't you idiots tell me how big that first step was? Sorry, boss! 